Okay, here's your walkthrough for maze tutorial number three in Kodu Game Lab for the Hour of Code. As you can see, Brodu is lost, hungry, and now surrounded by enemies. So in order to improve this game, we're going to add six apples. We're going to need to watch out for these cannons that are firing missiles. Uh, we're going to need to keep an eye out for patrolling saucers. And then once again, find Brodu and lead him home. Okay, so before we rescue him, we're going to make some changes. So once again, moving the three apples, editing Brodu, so we need now six points rather than just the three. Fixing one of the cannons, which is red, to fire missiles properly. Fix the red saucer to damage us and do three damage when we bump. Okay, and we're going to hit escape to go to edit mode now. And we're going to click the object tool and move three of these apples into the maze. So we're going to take them, we can drag them into the maze somewhere, drop them wherever we want. We're going to make it easy and move them just close by. And the third one here, I'm going to leave right here. Okay. So we're now going to click on the object tool and go to Brodu, which again our blue Kodu. So we're right clicking and going to program. Okay. So we're in Brodu's programming and we need to change his code to say six apples. Or obviously when we get his code to read that, we need instead of the counter to say three white, all right, we want it to be a say six white score. Okay, so Right now, there's a three there. We're going to delete it. So we're going to cut the tile. So that's a right click and cut tile. And we're going to add a five and a one to make the six. So we're good. So now Brodu is only going to follow if the score is six. So each apple worth one point. OK, so hit escape to go back to the edit menu. Play button to run the game. So once again, we can use the arrow keys and watch out for enemies. Let's go check out one of those apples that we dropped. Okay, so it says several of the cannons in the scene, especially this, uh, there are several of them, but the red cannon's not working properly. So we're going to try to find out what's wrong. So if we wanted, we could look at other cannons for clues. In this case, we're going to go right in to that cannon. So we're going to use the object tool once again. And here's our red cannon. So we're going to look at his programming. Once again, this is a little bit of a spoiler alert. Uh, if you're going to do the tutorial and you don't want to know the answer, you want to obviously not watch this video. Uh, but if you're a teacher, obviously, or a student who is prepping for the video uh, and you're okay with a spoiler, go ahead and follow along. So we want this to say, rather than when see clam orange behind, it should say when detect our kodu, right, within line of sight, firing the missile. So we're going to get rid of clam. We're going to get rid of orange and obviously behind. So it should see when see Kodu plus color white and options uh, line of sight. Okay, so we fixed it. Our code is now correct there. Now let's look at one more character who's not working properly, and this is now the red saucer. So we're hitting escape. We're going to go find the red saucer, and this red saucer does a, looks a little bit pink, but it is uh, actually the red one. Uh, so if you're wondering about that, it's just a matter of the way that the game is rendering the color. So we're going to go to programs. So in this case, we should now have this character damaging us when we bump. So instead of an octopus, we don't want that, and certainly not a blue one, all right? And it's not healing us, and it's not 10. So the only thing we're going to have left is just bump. So it's, it should be when bump plus Kodu, who is colored white, then it's going to do combat damage, and it's going to do three. So we're just going to use the number three. So that should work there. Okay, so we've done all of the things that the game tutorial has asked us to do. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Uh, obviously, there are greater challenges listed here that include opening up the Kodu and changing the game view uh, to follow, for example, uh, replacing different uh, things there. You can explore those. Uh, you can also look at editing the cannon or saucers to behave differently, different artificial intelligence, or making a new uh, enemy entirely. Okay, we're going to hit escape, and we're going to go now to the home menu and play the game. So now we're going to be looking for six apples. So we're going to try this really quick and see how we do. Obviously, we at the beginning have a little bit of a health issue, and if we get this a little hard, it'll heal us, and now we're up 200%. So obviously, the objective here is to not take damage and to collect our apples. 
you can see that we have a little indicator on the uh, right hand side there and that is actually looking at how many objects are in the game and it does give us a warning if we're getting to a critical level um the game will run on most computers fine uh, even at your maximum but if you have a slower computer that could be an issue so once again we're looking for two more apples here and try to avoid everything and this is our fifth and need one more let's see if we can find that last apple and we can kind of make it by these guys if we want to you may want to save the hearts for later if you're 100 so there's our last apple and now we need bread. So we're going to go find bread and we'll be back. There he is. He knows that we have the six points. Find it out, out of Maze. So you can see that Proto got a little lagged behind there. We need to get him to follow us and take him here. Once again, he's going to get into autopilot mode and follow this path all the way back to his house. Once he's in his house, we should get a little debrief from the pink Kodu telling us how we did and we should get a windscreen. So that concludes tutorial number three for Code to Game Lab.